Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video on Blaze2K and we've got great news when it comes to Windows on your Steam Deck. Ignore the smudges. But apparently, well as you know, installing Windows on the Steam Deck can be a little bit of a chore, right? You have to potentially either dual boot Windows alongside SteamOS and that takes, that's a little bit of a process and sometimes the bootloader can be updated and then you're stuck just being able to go into SteamOS and the Windows installation disappears until you have to reinstall the bootloader. It's a process, um, and it's a process that's kind of bugged me a little bit here and now, but ultimately, Windows alongside SteamOS on the Steam Deck is a beautiful experience, if you have a pretty good SSD, like I do, because I upgraded to the two terabyte NVMe SSD that I bought from AliExpress that only cost 140, or it, it costs 140 now if you buy it, but for me, it was a 270, but even then, at 270, it's worth it, because I've got two terabytes of storage. Um, another way is installing Windows on the micro SD, Pardon me. The other way is installing Windows on the micro SD card, which I also tried, which was a little bit of a crappy experience, just because micro SD cards are very slow and they're not optimized to run an operating system on them, you know, as you're trying to run content off them as well, you know, because Windows reads and writes constantly when you're doing stuff. And then if you add on top of that, reading game files to, you know, play a game and then expect everything to be super smooth, it's not. It's not the best experience. So if you're going to do a bit, do a bit on the SSD. Anyhow, Microsoft is experimenting with a, a Steam Deck friendly handheld mode for Windows, which I could not be more excited about because as you know right now, installing Windows on your Steam Deck, it works. It takes a little bit of work, but it works and it works pretty well and you can actually install the new big picture mode on your Steam client on Windows and basically have a very Steam Deck-esque experience, right? Have a very handheld friendly experience. But as far as just running Windows games, non-Steam games on Windows, it can be a little bit of a chore. Um, but there's a proof of concept that Microsoft and Valve seem to be working on right now um, to basically add some sort of Nintendo Switch style UI to this thing when you're on Windows and just make accessing your Windows games, including Game Pass games, much more smoothly um, on Windows. And I think this isn't just going to benefit the Steam Deck, it's going to benefit all the other Windows gaming handhelds, including the iNeo, the iNeo 2, iNeo Air Plus, um, Steam Deck, of course, um, the new Asus ROG Ally that's coming out. It's going to benefit every PC handheld that's coming out. And I think it's going to hurt Nintendo in the long run because once these things get to get that user, once they get that UI nailed and the experience nailed, like why would anyone buy a Nintendo Switch that that just doesn't have access to all the games, right? Um, that's just my opinion. You feel free to disagree in the comments. But yeah, um, so yeah, new Windows handheld UI and we're gonna get into it in this video. Sorry, it took me a long time to ramble on and talk, but we're gonna get into it right now. Let's go. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you want more gaming handheld, Steam Deck and all that good stuff news on your YouTube homepage every day because we post multiple times a day. I'm Blaze2K. Okay? I love you. I appreciate you. Let's go. Three minutes to start the video. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but anyways, Microsoft is experimenting with a Steam Deck friendly handheld mode for Windows. Proof of concept includes Switch style UI, better controller support and more. This is great now. I cannot believe, I cannot express, like, I'm, I'm, my heart's pounding right now. I'm so excited um, because Windows, w once we can get Windows working on here on the Steam Deck and have it be more a user friendly experience, it's going to just raise up the level of awesomeness. <laughs> Right, um, so here's the cute little icon that they worked on. So this is the Windows Microsoft Hackathon September 2022 Windows handheld mode. This is amazing. So the Steam Deck's default Linux operating system and a proton translation layer can run a surprising number of PC games well, but to maximize compatibility and flexibility and to use it like a PC when you're not gaming, installing Windows is always an option. And there's an, also an alternate handheld PC design like the iNeo that ships with Windows by default. But Windows isn't an ideal operating system for the Steam Deck, at least not out of the box. It's mouse and keyboard oriented user interface isn't comfortable or convenient to use on a small handheld system like the Steam Deck. Windows 11 makes some allowances for touch screens, but its buttons and menus can still be hard to tap on on such a small screen. The controller doesn't work outside of Steam, including on Windows touchscreen keyboard and installing drivers and launching games for the first time can be a pain. I can attest to that. I've been through all that. It's not impossible. It's not super hard, but it's a little bit of a, it's a pain, right? If having all of this support for like a handheld gaming PC and controller by default via some sort of 
mobile UI, I think that would make a massive difference and make it a lot more of an enjoyable experience for running, you know, Windows on handhelds. Um, right now, a lot of handheld companies like iNeo, um, obviously the Asus ROG Ally coming up, they've built a little overlay on top of Windows to sort of make things a little bit more palatable for you. But having Windows make their own version of it, made for Windows, optimized for Windows, it's it's going to be a game changer. Um, not just for handhelds, for gaming laptops as well, right? Just anything, you know? If you want to have a little system hooked up to your TV at all times, you know, being able to switch into a controller-friendly user interface, it's going to be a big deal. I mean, like I said, we could always, we already have that ability via the big picture mode in Steam, but having it baked into Windows would just be a little bit nicer, right? So Microsoft is aware of the problems running Windows on the Steam Deck and other ha similar handheld Windows PCs, and at least some developers inside the company have spent um, time thinking of ways to address them. That's the thrust of a leaked presentation posted in two parts by Twitter user H. 0x0d underscore about a new handheld mode for Windows developed as part of an internal Microsoft hackathon in September 22. So let's open these two pages here. But oh, close. There we go. So here we are. Here, um, Windows handheld mode. Let's take a look. Some project uh, where we looked at taking some of the first steps of creating a truly optimized Windows experience for the handheld PC market. A market which is really just starting to grow. Right yes, to yes. The Steam Deck mm -hmm. to in a second. Mm -hmm. But if we think of a few years back, the Switch being released, it really showed um, that a handheld can finally compete against other consoles. And then a few years we started to hear rumors about a device called the Steam Deck um, that can finally play you know, all the games in your Steam library, or at least most of the games. Um, and it's been a huge success. People people love it. It is uh, giving them the, the Switch experience, but with all the PC games they love. Um, it runs a custom Linux distribu uh, distribution called SteamOS, uh, which creates a really optimized experience for the Steam Store and Steam games. Yes, sir. But because the Steam Deck is a PC, it can run Windows. Um, but it's been pretty rough. You know, the drivers are pretty basic, um, and it's not ready for prime time. So there's a bunch of problems, uh, and we're trying to figure out where to start with this project, so we're focused on the basics. One, there's a lack of controller support, so if you're playing a non-Steam game, um, you can't use the controller. Games don't open well because they can't quite interpret what kind of display it is. Well, you can use the controller. It just involves using a third-party application, which can be a little bit tricky to find at times. Trouble accessing the VRAM, so some games yep. don't even start. Yep. The touch keyboard on Windows is, is very odd. If we think it's made yep. for a portrait screen, yep. there's a lot of uh, Windows UI and UX elements that are not optimized um, for a handheld. But things quickly change once we start to learn more about what had been done, and what roadblocks we might run into. A good example is this uh, three week handheld sprint uh, led by Dorothy Fang. She explored all the all the things that ultimately we want in a handheld experience. We also learned about a touch keyboard that can be um, navigated with a controller. It's something we want. Um, there's a new taskbar that's optimized for panels. And we also found and started working with a developer who created a way to use Steam Deck's controls globally in Windows. Well, there we go. Interesting. Very interesting. That was the fastest two minute video I've ever watched. Um, here's another part. Uh, also, the last thing we saw was a gaming show created by Hayden McAfee, and we said, we want this in this project. Oh. Way to launch games. Thing Let's take a look at that. So that, this is a little preview of it here, guys. This is the, the new Windows game mode user interface. Now, we know Microsoft have a lot of experience when it comes to gaming interfaces. They have ran the Xbox for decades now, right? Um, and yeah, the Xbox UI is a little bit overcomplicated at times. Some people will agree, some people will disagree. But at the end of the day, they do have a lot of, exper a lot of experience when it comes to navigating U UI via a controller, a gamepad. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard for them. But this is a first look at what we might come to expect. All right. So we're going to have a very Nintendo-esque, um, PS5-esque, PS4-esque. <laughs> user interface that makes navigating all your games on windows a lot easier now as you can see there like if you look we've got recent games on the top tiles on the top a simple tile layout which i think is one of the best layouts um and then we have apps at the bottom we've got xbox game pass steam discord ea epic games all your third-party launchers now that is a big big part of why a lot of people want to install windows on their steam deck 
and handhelds in general. So you can have access to all these finicky third-party launchers. Now, third-party launchers are the bane to my existence at the moment because there's a lot of games, including, um, oh geez, what was I gonna say? Um, I can't think of it. <laughs> there's a few games over the past week I've been wanting to play and realized I can't play them on freaking Steam Deck um, or, or Steam, even on Windows. Um, I had to download a third-party launcher to play them. and. It infuriates me. Rockstar Games, the Ubisoft launcher, the EA launcher previously, the Origin launcher, um, Battle.net, just the list goes on and on because every company wants to have their own game launcher and it's frustrating. And when you have a gaming PC like this, you know, it's that primarily uses Steam. It can be a nightmare. Um, so yeah. Being able to have access to all that on Windows and especially on a little handheld user interface like this, um, it's going to be a game changer, it really is. So the last thing we saw was a gaming show created by Hayden McAfee and we said, we want this in this project. Give us Hayden McAvoy, or McAvee. God bless you. Games quickly to launch apps, let's do it. Look at that. So we limited the scope to just a few things and we looked at what the experience <laughs> might be. So you have an onboarding experience. This is handheld mode, here's what it does. Let's get things ready. Let's install drivers and services. Uh, let's restart, and then you'll see you'll see it living in your taskbar. Mm -hmm. um, and then afterwards, you can you can change some basic settings. Nice, so very nice. The results of the hackathon. We got our onboarding setup experience, where drivers and services are installed. The controller works now. Uh, now we have a the, the foundation for a launcher where you can quickly launch between games, between stores. So if you look at what it would take to bring handheld mode to the mainstream market, create that you know truly minimum valuable product, a, a lot of these things... So let's see, to start growing an adoption of the patronage in the mainstream market, we need to do the following for a valuable, a truly minimum valuable product. Address the portrait screen issue. Now there is an issue, the, the, the screen inside the Steam Deck and a lot of these other handheld gaming PCs are basically designed to be portrait screens, like tablets. They're tablet screens. Um, so a lot... Basically, because that's hardwired into them, it can play havoc with certain games that, you know, that that can detect, like older games especially, that are not meant to run on portrait screens. They detect that it's a hard, you know, it, hardware wise, it's a portrait screen and it can sometimes just crash or not load games properly. Um, so that's it's a big issue. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not going to pretend that I know everything there is to know about that issue particularly, but I don't want to go into it right now. But that is an issue, and obviously Windows are going to be looking into it. And like they said here, looking into alternatives for deck control drivers, maybe working with directly with a Valve, which is interesting. Windows optimizations, tweaks, etc. A suitable touch keyboard that can be operated via controller. That's a big, a big yes, because the current Windows virtual keyboard is a nightmare to use and doesn't work with a controller. Optimized taskbar, available today. Optimized UI scaling, mapping of controls to common Windows functions like task view, other relatively simple changes like ensuring all windows open maximized. Yes, we don't want to have to keep switching back to desktop mode as we're switching between apps, right? That that'd be kind of annoying. A robust a robust launcher to reduce the time it takes to get to your games. Yes, show full installed library, not just recent games. Quick access to hardware and experience settings, personalization, launcher preferences, setting order, visibility of different Visib uh, visibility. Oh, there's a typo on that spread on that um slideshow. Um different stores and apps. Um nice. Pin favorite games, optimized game bar and Xbox app. Nice. As long as we have the right specialists, as long as we have the right expertise, kind of moving. Can you believe that they're working on this? Microsoft are working on this. <laughs> they, uh, we already know. Um we already know Phil Spencer loves the Steam Deck. Um and he's committed to bringing more Microsoft games to Steam. But the fact that Microsoft actually have a team working on this problem right now, it makes me so excited. Oh, love it. This project, everything on here is, is, is definitely achievable. Everyone working on this project really feels that this is something that, that Windows users, they yes, deserve, they deserve. We do. Hey, Windows Xbox app users deserve this, need this. A Windows gaming experience dialed into handhelds represents a new revenue stream in multiple ways, as well as a goodwill gesture to the PC gaming community, further improving Windows and Xbox's image and credit. Cred. Oh, all right, let's build incrementally, let's release previews, let's build excitement, and let's get serious about handheld gaming on Windows. We all if we can truly dial in this handheld experience, we could also see new revenue streams and, and a lot of goodwill in the PC gaming community. Um, so let's look at ways of kind of building on the momentum we've had with this hackathon project. You know, build incrementally, get this out to people in previews, build excitement around 
Windows truly trying to focus on the handheld market and create a, 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 a truly optimized experience. Bingo. And you know what this potential leads up to, guys? And we'll cover this in a future video. The potential of a Windows, a Microsoft handheld gaming PC. Now, we know Microsoft's dabbling in their own hardware, right? We've got the Surface devices. We've got the Surface phone, right? The foldable phone. Their tablets, their iMac equivalent sort of desktop PCs with everything in it, right? I could see a world where they're starting to release their own gaming handheld, right? With Windows, Xbox Game Pass at its core. They could call it an Xbox gaming handheld, which I've been wanting for so long. It's endless possibilities, guys. And I just, I cannot stress enough how happy I am that Microsoft are taking this seriously and that they have a team working on this right now. And it is hopefully, you know, it builds momentum. Hopefully it builds excitement. This is a big deal. And I'm going to be talking about this more and more in the coming weeks. So please like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified because I really want to help Microsoft build excitement for this because we need this. We need this as a PC gaming community. People who have gaming PCs, not just the Steam Deck, this would make such a massive, massive difference, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, kudos to PS5 gurus who popped into the stream yesterday and told me that they were working on this because if it wasn't for him, I might not have seen it. And this needs to be seen. People need to know about this. This is a big deal. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Blaze2K. Sorry for the long video. Just wanted to cover this and be excited about it. It's another 16 bit of video. I apologize. But yes, let's get excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon. And if you're a Steam Deck fan, which I have a feeling that you are, please check out our list of favorite Steam Deck accessories here. Um, I do air commissions off of sales. It's just an affiliate thing but it's a really useful resource as well. Now, primarily it's a useful resource, but I do earn some commissions off, you know, stuff that's sold on Amazon. So there is that, just letting you know. And um, yeah, it's a fantastic resource. I'm always adding stuff, okay? So check this list out on a regular basis. Bookmark it, follow it, click the follow button that should be up here for you. Um, share it with friends. Um, it's a great resource for cool accessories that are coming out for the Steam Deck and obviously gift ideas for people that you know that have a Steam Deck. And a lot of these things work for you know more than just the steam deck all right for other windows gaming handhelds and stuff too so either way it's going to be a valuable resource and stay up to date because i will be adding stuff to it and i will i might even make a new list for just general handheld gaming pcs in general with a bunch of accessories you might find useful for those too anyways i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video take care and enjoy the rest of your week i'm blaze decay and like i said please like this video subscribe and click the bell icon so you're notified because there's a lot of cool stuff coming your way this year I'm so excited. Anyways, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. See you in the next one. Bye.